All right, today we are looking at this Bebang microscope that was sent to us for an honors review. This microscope comes with a bunch of stuff. So coming right out of the box, you see that it's got a carrying case, uh, a little razor adapter thing to help you cut your own samples. It comes with a microfiber cloth. It comes with a bunch of different um, vials and sectioners and tweezers and all the different things you need for your different specimens. Probably most importantly, it comes with this sample of slices that you can use. It comes with 10 different ones and then a bunch of glass panes that you can create your own samples. So you can just throw those right into the microscope and start looking right away with them. So that's really nice. It has an adapter for your phone. Uh, if you have a headphone jack, mine does not, um, but then you can take pictures directly from your phone. Now, the actual phone adapter just goes right over the top of the eyepiece, and then you put your phone on there, and you uh, position the eyepiece on your phone over the eyepiece here, and then you can record video and take pictures directly from your phone which actually is a great way to just use that as a viewfinder instead of squinting and looking through the viewfinder yourself. Um, now on the actual microscope, there's a bunch of things to notice. One is for adjusting, you've got a quick adjust and then a more fine adjust, which is really great um, when you're just finalizing uh, the shot that you want to get. You see that I'm plugged in right now and I have the bottom light on and the top light on. To adjust the lights, you've got this knob here on the bottom and you can do one at a time or both. So either or both. I just keep both on because you can also adjust the brightness. And so I found that that worked well is to have them both on and then I'm usually at pretty close to full brightness. So you just get the best picture that way. You can plug it in, or there's also a spot for uh, AA batteries, AAA batteries uh, here on the bottom. You'll notice when I tipped it over, the viewfinder fell out. You've got just a, a spot to put your viewfinder in, and you can put different adjustments. By default, it has um, this eyepiece in, but you can take that one out and put, a, put it on top, and then magnify that by another tube. Just slide that in. Then on top of that, you can put your camera viewfinder. The viewfinder on top, the phone one, it does just hang loose, and so your phone doesn't go on exactly straight, which is kind of a pain. You can tighten your phone once you find how close to get it to the viewfinder. You can tighten it here, but you can't tighten this one here. So the, the slides just go right in. You've got your metal clasp here, and it does a really good job. So you have tons of different options of magnification. Here you have three. Um, lenses right off of it where it starts with your four times I believe you have four times then you've got ten times and forty times that seems to be, give you a lot of variety on the different specimens you look at which is really great this is great for any science classroom or for home I, I mean this is something that your kids could play with you could explore different specimens and have a lot of fun with it at home but as a work microscope, this is a pretty powerful microscope and it's great for a classroom or for any scientist that's going out there and looking at specimens. Obviously you can create your own specimens, find things around the house or the yard and examine it that way. Uh, but I think this is ideal for a lab setting. And it's a really cool product.